She speak, she's such a great speaker on behalf of parents. I'd like to welcome up uh, Gwen Guisbrook, please. Solidarity Notes provided a gap between myself and the last speaker because I'm not a union organizer and that's a tough act to follow. My name's Gwen Giesbrecht. I'm a parent in the Vancouver School District number 39. I'm speaking on my own behalf today and I know that there are many parents out there and I know that they're here today who would agree with my comments that I'm going to make today. My involvement with the Vancouver School District has been over the last nine years, and in nine years what I know is this. Teachers work hard and they care about students. So I'm here today to speak in support of public education and support for the people who deliver the services to our students for those of us that treat public education with the respect that it deserves and continue to see it as a cornerstone of our community and our society. Yes, teachers work hard and they care about students and they spend a lot of time filling in the gaps for the shortfalls that are there in the services to our kids due to ongoing budget shortfalls year after year. Students that are struggling to learn and families that are struggling to survive in this city. When teachers say there are too many unsupported special needs students in our classroom. When teachers say I have students that I know have speech or hearing impairments and they've not been diagnosed and I don't know what to do with them. When teachers have students that have social and behavioral challenges that they need the assistance of another kind of professional to do some inter intervention and provide support. And when teachers have students arriving in their classroom every day that they know are coming from poverty, that they are arriving in the classroom not prepared to participate fully in a day's education because they may not have had breakfast and they may not have had dinner the night before. These are the same concerns that parents have and we say you have to listen to these teachers because they're making some really good points. Bill 22, we're talking about losing the ability to negotiate a lot of these supports that have been gone out of the classroom. Every year that I've been in the district, there have been fewer and fewer uh, resources available. Teachers should not have to dig into their own pockets or go begging cap in hand to the parents of their schools to provide whatever support the parents can find by way of donation, to put books on the shelves of the libraries, to put computers in the computer labs, to put the playground equipment in the playground. It's a long list. <laughs> the importance of funding all these areas so that when our kids go to school, they're getting a full experiential learning environment where they can do lab experiments and where they can look at books and where they can have an introduction to using new technologies. Then we have excellence in public education and it needs to be excellence that avail is available to all our students, regardless of how much money the parents at the school can contribute. So, you have 
my support. Thank you, teachers. Yeah.